I'm gonna roll a compilation of numbered intros, which you'll be able to download and customize for free using the links in the description. But before we do that, I actually wanna talk you out of using these intros. Yes, you heard me correctly. I don't want you to use them. In fact, I think if you do use these intro templates or any of the other free intro templates on YouTube, you're gonna get less views and subscribers. And here's why. Most of the time, in my personal experience, intros hurt a YouTube channel's performance, especially when used incorrectly, because they take up valuable hook time they're not cool or original, they don't communicate value, and there's something much better that you should be doing. Now I'm gonna cover all those things quickly in just a second, because I'm guessing that if you're here, you want to download a gaming intro and use it for your channel. And so I'm hopefully going to talk you out of doing that, because I think it will be a mistake. Regardless though, if you decide my points are completely wrong and I'm an idiot, the download links will be in the description to whatever intro you choose to select. First reason why not to use a traditional gaming intro. They take up valuable hook time if not positioned correctly. The hook is the part of your video where you hook your viewers, you draw them in, you get them interested, and that interest is the fuel that keeps them watching throughout the entire video. Without a hook, your viewers are going to leave the video early, which is going to bring your watch time, your average view duration, pretty much everything good, it's going to bring it down which is a bad thing, and that results in you not getting views, much less subscribers. See, the reason an intro is bad for your hook is because generally speaking, a traditional gaming intro takes between five and 15 seconds. In my experience, most successful videos hook a viewer within the first five seconds. So if your intro takes up that time, then you've missed out on the biggest opportunity of your entire video to hook people and keep them watching. In my opinion, this is one of the reasons why YouTube, YouTube ads, you'll notice that you can skip the ad after five seconds. I believe this is because YouTube figured out that if you can't hook someone within the first five seconds, they're not gonna watch anyway. So that's when they introduce the skip button. Think of the beginning of your video like a YouTube ad. In those five seconds, you have to hook people. You have to do something, say something, show something that's going to keep them watching, that's going to very much interest them, impress them, provide them with some type of value or at least a promise of value that will keep them watching. Otherwise, they will skip, AKA they'll click off the video. And as mentioned, unfortunately, a traditional gaming intro is pretty bad at doing that. Now, the second reason I despise traditional gaming intros is they're no longer cool and they're not original for branding. Now, the main point of an intro, aside from introducing your channel, is for branding purposes. It's kind of like that McDonald's jingle. When you hear that sound and see the big M on a red background, you instantly think McDonald's. That's because McDonald's have awesome branding. And that's one of the biggest purposes of a gaming intro, is to come up with something original, preferably cool, that people will remember you by and associate you with. Now the problem is, traditional gaming intros, firstly, they were cool back in 2013. Nowadays, every man and his dog has a traditional gaming intro, and it's about as far from original as you can get, meaning that including one, defeats the entire purpose. Imagine McDonald's, Hungry Jack's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Wendy's, insert fast food place here. Imagine if they all had the exact same jingle as McDonald's. That jingle would kind of begin to lose its meaning because you'd start associating it with multiple different people, which defeats the entire purpose. Because you'd start associating it not just with McDonald's, but with everyone, which defeats the purpose of your branding, just getting people to remember you. And that's another reason why I dislike the traditional gaming industry intros. They're not original and they're not really that cool. At least not in 2020. Who knows, maybe they'll come back like the mullet, but I highly doubt it. Thirdly, traditional gaming intros don't communicate the value of your channel. As mentioned in the previous point, one of the most important parts of an intro is the part where it actually introduces you. In fact, that is the most important part, hence why it's literally called introduction. The intro is meant to briefly convey a little bit about who you are and what you do, but gaming intros just kind Kind of suck at doing that. For example, let's watch this gaming intro. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> So let me ask you, now that you've watched the introduction for that YouTube channel, what do you know about that YouTube channel? What do you know about what they do? You know literally nothing aside from the channel name, which is probably the least of your cares. Therefore, this intro completely failed to do the bare minimum thing it was supposed to do, which was to introduce the channel. So I've been bashing gaming intros for a little bit now. So you might be wondering, well, Marcus, what do you suggest I do instead of a gaming intro? Well, first of all, I 
personally believe you don't necessarily need to have a graphical traditional introduction like the things that have been shown on the screen. You'll probably notice that a lot of YouTubers nowadays completely skip the traditional graphical intro altogether. They might literally just introduce themselves verbally like I did at the beginning of this video. I told you who I was, what I do, and why the hell you should care. I think, and although granted my intro is a little bit lengthy, I think it probably got you more interested in this channel if you're a gaming YouTuber than you would have been by my channel name bouncing around on screen to some utterly cringy dubstep. The other option is I could just skip the complete intro entirely. I could just not tell you about who I am, what I do, and just get straight into the actual content people came here to see. Now, I personally recommend you have some kind of introduction that actually introduces who you are, but I've seen a lot of people have success without any introduction, just by getting straight into the content people clicked on the video to watch. So those are my recommendations. Either skip the intro entirely, or craft a verbal intro that actually introduces who you are and and why people should care. Now, if you're interested in actually crafting a verbal intro and where to position it, I've actually got a video about that and CTAs, which is another important thing that will help you convert viewers into subscribers that I posted quite recently. So I'm gonna link it up on the screen. I highly recommend you check it out because there's some really cool stuff in there. And by the end of that video, you will have yourself the exact system and structure you need to craft a successful intro that actually introduces who you are and converts viewers into subscribers. But that's enough from me, I'm off to blow up my inflatable anchor, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.